Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of What Not To Render, the show where I try and highlight the specific mistakes that are commonly made that I see in my days as the Maxwell Render Mentor at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology. And in today's episode I'm going to be looking at low-res HDRIs, and specifically low-res HDRIs being visible in your scene. Now HDRIs are a great way of illuminating your scene realistically. Unfortunately, if the HDRI itself isn't big enough, it can appear pixelated in your renders. Now, small HDRIs are actually sometimes a very good thing, because they take up less memory. So sometimes it is good to render with them, but how do you get around the issue of a pixelated background? Well, I'll show you. This is my scene. This is my first year Kodak Brownie project, and it's being lit by an HDRI. Specifically, it's DH207, which is a DOS HDRI, which comes with Maxwell. But you can see here in the background of the interactive preview that the HDRI itself looks pixelated. And it doesn't look good if it's in the background of an otherwise very nice render. Now to reduce the pixelation in the background, there are a couple of things you can do. First of all is in the environment window itself. You can turn on the interpolation checkbox. As its name suggests, this will interpolate the HDR image itself. And you can see that the previously pixelated image now appears blurry. However, this blurring effect may not be quite realistic. So there's something else we can do. I'm going to turn off interpolation and come over to my camera parameters and making sure that lock exposure is enabled, I'm going to turn my f-stop down. I'm going to turn it down to 8 for this. And bearing in mind that my camera is focused approximately to this edge here, you can see that the objects further away from the camera are blurry, especially the HDRI itself. And this will appear more realistic than simply using interpolation. But with both a low f-stop and interpolation, you should get still better results. However, the best idea is to use a higher res HDRI in the first place. For example, the HDRI that's in this scene at the moment is only 1024 pixels by 512 pixels, and that's why it's appearing pixelated in the background. But this HDRI from HDRI4U.com is 6000 by 3000 pixels, and even with a high f-stop so there's very little depth of field, and interpolation turned off, the background is still nice and clear it's very difficult to see any pixelation. So remember, if your HDRI is going to be visible in the background, try and use a high res one. If you can't, try using interpolation or a low f-stop. Don't allow your low res pixelated HDRI to be visible in the background. That is what not to render. I've been James Coleman, the Max Render Mentor at the University of Brighton Centre for Design Technology, and I'll see you again soon.